So you tell me which one, when the, when the, when the, when the Lord of the house come back, which one is he going to honor? Which, which one is he going to honor? Go ahead. Ye, ye have scattered my flock. Be because those those that, that don't gather with your house shy, they're scattering, man. Your house shy said that. He said, them that, that gather if not with me, scattereth, man. So, so all of you people that are scattering, man, and the Lord's going to kill you, man. That's right. right. And driven them away and have not visit them. Behold, I will visit unto you the evil of your doings, said the Lord. That's right. And then, and then when we get on people, uh, about doing such, you know, you got guys who want to get all emotional and say, well, well why, why are you getting on them? You know, the, the reason that we're getting on them, man, is, be, is because they're, 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 uh, this, this thing is about gathering the sheep, man. But yet you're scattering the sheep of the Most High Heavenly Father. You ain't bringing out truth. You know, those that are, that's not with us is against us, man. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel 34 and 1. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them. It's a, com it's a commandment from the Most High Heavenly Father to, 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 to prophesy against them, man. And not, and not only them. To, not, to prophesy against them. To prophesy against Edom. To prophesy against the Salakia. To prophesy against these other nations, man. To prophesy against two-thirds of the nation of Israel. All of those are our enemies, man. You want to know why? Because they're enemy of the truth, man. It says, uh, Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, The power unto the shepherds won't be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Ye, ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the flock. You know, that's all these, you know, these so-called brethren, you know, uh, these so-called, well, these false prophets and all them, you know what I'm saying? This word was given unto you, and instead of you, you know, feeding the flock and, you know, and, and raising up the nation of Israel, you, you know, you're trying to feed your own belly. You know what I'm saying? That ain't what it's about, you know what I'm saying? Because Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? Through his, you know, through this word, you know, he's raising up the elect, and, you know, that's a, um, that's a sign of uh, you know being brotherly. You know when you have something, you want to share it. You know amongst your you know your family. You know what I'm saying you don't want to keep it up unto yourself. You know what I'm saying you're supposed to share this way. You ain't supposed to be trying to you know basically be a nigga and, and um, you know trying to scheme and whatnot. You know what I'm saying trying to see what you can come up and get off the next brother. You know what I'm saying or you know yeah I say that the next brother. Um, it says the disease the. the the disease have ye not strengthened, neither have ye healed that that which was sick, neither have ye bound up that which was broken, neither have ye brought again that which was driven away, neither have ye sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. You know, so basically, you know, all these false niggas, you know what I'm saying? Niggas that's getting weak and whatnot, you know, you're not on your job at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You're not feeding the elect, you know what I'm saying? You got niggas coming in now, you know, they with this this love, everybody's spirit, you know what I'm saying? You want everybody that, that like have uh, uh, this coalition, you know, this Israelite coalition, you know what I'm saying? Like that ain't what it's about, man. We spoke, we set up to be soldiers. We set up to be hard in this thing, to endure. So, you know. Just like, uh, you know, we in war right now, you know what I'm saying? So, like, uh, you know, you got, you know, you had like the Vietnam War, World War II, World, you know, World War I. That, uh, you know, when these men, when they went away, you know, off to these wars, you didn't have time to be thinking about your family and, you know, the cares, you know, of your, you know, of your life that you was living. You got, you got to have a mind state to stay focused in the war, because if you slept, you know, that's your ass. You get shot, you know, you make you step on a landmine or whatever the case, you know what I'm saying? It's the same, it's the, yeah, it's the same way with this word, you know what I'm saying, with this truth. You know, because, because uh, the time's going to come, hey, keep, 
you, you are you grabbing numbers? Grab if, if he's grabbing numbers. Grab our First Peter's four and seventeen. No. Because the time is, is coming when judgment is gonna begin at the house of the Lord, man. You know what? It, it ain't about. It ain't about. You got guys. You you got guys that uh. They, 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 they have a tangible mindset state. They don't they don't have faith that 144,000 Israelites that are, that are out there or a great multitude, one third of the nation of Israel is out there. So all they see is these different camps. Whether, whether a camp have one breakdown, this camp have another breakdown, this camp have another breakdown. They don't see, uh, the, uh, they don't have faith that Israel is out there being numbered up. The one third is out there being numbered in seals, man. You know, so all they see is these camps, and by, because they only see these camps, they're like, damn, well, what we need to do is, okay, we all might have differences in, in, in doctrines. Let us put aside our differences or try to come to one common agreement and so that we all can come together. You know, because they're thinking that, that, that all of these people that are in these camps are part of the elect. Well, there might be some that are numbered amongst those other camps that are part of the elect, but all of them ain't, man. And the ones that are, the most high is going to bring them out. But the time is coming when judgment is going to begin at the house of, of the Lord, man. And all of you people that ain't right, the Lord's going to start killing y'all, man. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead. 4, 4 and 17. And the Lord's about to start killing you, man. You people that ain't right, you people that are double-minded, you people that got double hearts, man. You people that are faint-hearted, because you got niggas that still don't want to come out here to push the word of the Lord because they're too fucking afraid, man. Uh, numbers 20 to 25. You can, you can start from verse 1. Hey, because, well, hey, when, when, hey, the Lord's cutting out the cancer, man. He's trimming the fat, man. He's, he's cutting off, hey, he's mortifying, he's mortifying the body of Israel. When you, when you mortify the body, let's say for instance, right, I, I, I had diabetes, and, and, and uh, my diabetes was, was causing my, 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 uh, an infection in my foot, you know? What, I'm gonna, what, the, what the doctors are gonna do, they're gonna amputate that foot off, man, so that that infection won't spread throughout the body. That's what the Lord is doing to me. Can, go, can you grab that, Papa Kasha? This is Numbers 25 and one. And Israel abode in Shechem, and the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab. And they called the people unto the sacrifices of their gods, and the people did eat. All, all you Egyptologists, man, all you black conscious, black conscious people, you know, all of you people that call yourself black, that don't want to come to the knowledge that you're Israelite, according to the Bible, man. You know, all of you people that want to dibble and dabble in this religion, that religion, hey man, you enemies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is the only way, man. That's right. right. Go ahead. And bowed down to their gods, and Israel joined himself unto Baal Peor. Hey man, some of you, some of you, uh, some of you Israelites, man, you you worship you worship uh, Be Belial, man. You know, you worship the the, the Lord, like like IUIC, man. And in, in their doctrines that they're bringing in, and you're seducing the children of Israel into following that, man. So what's going to happen is the Lord's going to put you all to death. Go ahead. That's right. And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against Israel. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Take all the heads of the people and hang them up before Yahweh against the sun. Well, why didn't the Lord say, well, just, just go and speak unto them, speak loving things unto them, and try to convert them back? Right. Go ahead. And hang them up before Yahweh against the sun, that the fierce anger of Yahweh may be turned away from Israel. Man, the Lord is terrible, man. Yeah. The Lord is so terrible that He's willing to to to, to, to kill two thirds of the nation of Israel to save one third, man. Why would you want to mess with a power like that, man? Why would you Why would you not want to follow it and be in compliance with Him, man, and, and, and with His holy word? Go ahead. It says, um, time, time. And Moses said unto the judges of Israel, Slay ye every one his men that were joined unto Baal Peor. And behold, one of the children of Israel came and brought unto his brethren a immediate, immediate lightest woman in the sight of Moses. 
in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel. Because Baal Peor was a, was a, was a, um, a, se a, sex, a sex deity. You know, that, that, uh, that these other nations were committing orgies to, to sacrifice it to. So here it is. Uh, the, the, the brother, he might have just finished popping a woman, and he brought her to his brother, you know, for him to go and pop her. You know, to, to sacrifice him to this other guy. You know? When you, when you, that, that, that's the same, when you get into, into these other doctrines, that, that's, that's pretty much the same thing, man. You're committing whoredoms. When, you, when you're teaching the children of Israel to go off and to worship uh, uh, this way or that way or, or to do something that's contrary to the right way, and you, you're teaching them to commit whoredoms, man. So the same thing is going to happen to you. Go ahead. And in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So here it is, they're weeping because the Most High is bringing judgment upon them. That's the same thing that we're doing, man. We're weeping because the Most High is bringing, bringing judgment upon us. Go ahead. And when Anias, the son of Eleazar, so when, when Phine, 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 Phineas, Phineas, you know, the son of Eleazar, you know, when he, when he saw the man do that, this is what he did, on, you know? Man. The son of, of Aaron, the priest, saw it, and he rose up from among the congregation and took a javelin in his hand, and he went after the man of Israel into the tent and thrust both of them through. And you, you know what? He, he did that physically. Yeah. Which the time is going to come when that's going to happen physically, but right now we're doing it on a spiritual aspect. That's right. You know, and the scriptures say in, uh, in the book of Hebrews, the word of the Lord is, is, is sharper than any two-edged sword. So we're using that two-edged sword through the spirit to, to chop down all of these people that's bringing in lies, man. That's bringing in doctors of devils. That's teaching our people to uh, be partakers of, of, of autumns, man. We're, yeah, we, we're, we're cutting and we're slicing you and we're stabbing you with spiritual javelins. Damn. But the time is going to come when that's going to physically happen, man. Again. Go ahead. <clears throat> and, the run, see, and thrust both of them through the man of Israel and the woman through her belly. So the plague was stayed from the children of Israel. Okay, that's, that's the point. Yeah. Yep, that's the point. Go ahead. This is 1 uh, Peter yeah. chapter 4, verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Israel. Uh, uh, it's a lot. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at Keep us, Revelation what shall time. the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah? And the word, the word gospel means good news, man. This, if you, if you, if you fell out of this truth, and you, and you, and you, uh, you, you basically fell away from, from, from this understanding which, which we know, which we believe in, and you and you going in, you're teaching something else, and you're teaching another gospel. You know? So you don't obey the gospel of Yahweh while Yahweh shine, man. Because what we teach is, is, is the truth according to the Holy Spirit, man. But but you got you you blasphemed against the Holy Spirit, which the only sin that's unforgiven, unforgivable, besides taking the mark of the beast, is which if you took the mark of the beast, you blasphemed against the Holy Spirit, man. Be because according to the scriptures, it says that whoever takes the chip will die. You know, they'll be burned. But basically, the only sin that won't be forgiven is, is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, man. I have a question. I have a question. Right, so if you take the the RFID chip, you're not gonna make it into the kingdom. You're not. If you willingly take that RFID chip, you, yes. you, you're uh, you're gonna be destroyed in thermal thermonuclear destruction. You know. But but if you're an Israelite, you know, which which there's a such thing as reincarnation. You're you're you're, you're gonna be reincarnated in the kingdom of heaven. You know, you're gonna come back in a new body. The Israelites who even take the RFID. E even the chip. ones that take the chip. Okay. You know, but but basically what's gonna happen is their 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 uh, body that they're in right now is gonna be destroyed. Yeah, they're not you know? gonna make the chariots. They're not gonna make the chariots. They're, they're not gonna be saved. There's no salvation for them. Because it, hey, the scriptures say, the scriptures say in um. Uh, in uh, 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 Romans 11 and 26, that, that Israel shall be saved with the everlasting salvation. You know, all of, can, can you grab that real fast, Lord Kishore? Uh, world without it. Uh-huh. Uh, 
Isaiah No, 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 no. Uh, uh, in, Rev in uh, Romans 11 and 26. Oh, oh okay, so, so. Romans uh, chapter 11, uh, verse 6? 26. 26. 26 huh? uh, Romans chapter 11, starting from verse 26. And so, and so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, there shall come, so like, uh, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take so away this. So all Israel will be saved, you know? You got you got two thirds that are gonna die on this side, but they're gonna be regeneration regenerated or re reincarnated in the in the kingdom of heaven, you know? And they're gonna have a mark of shame. Well well it's what they're gonna do is they're still gonna live better than other nations, you know, but but basically, uh, like it says in the book of Daniel, the eleventh chapter uh, the twelfth chapter, some shall wait to everlasting shame. And some to everlasting, yeah, yeah. Uh, some shall wake to ev uh, righteousness, and some shall wake to uh, everlasting shame and contempt. You know. Yeah. So that means forever they're gonna be ashamed. The well, well, they gonna know what they did to, to go off. That's just like if if if, um, if you did something to, to go off, and your father warned you, told you not to do it. You know, and after you did it, you got in trouble for it. You you feel that you feel that, but but it's still. We're still going to embrace him and be happy, you know, towards him. Okay, you got something else? Uh, you got something? Oh, go ahead. Zion had that revelation. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, I wanted to finish reading uh, First Peter. This is First Peter's chapter 4 